Gutierrez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is how have astronomers been able to study the surface of Venus. So this is a very legit question. When we look at Venus, the clouds are very thick. Uh, the greenhouse effect of Venus is, is, very, uh, is a very, very strong greenhouse and is practically opaque. So there is almost no chance of looking at the surface through an orbiting uh, satellite. So since the 60s, there's been sort of a hunt of who can look at Venus. And the reason that we've been wanting to look at Venus is because Venus is sort of the sister planet of Earth, but it actually, in th after we study the surface and we study the temperature of Venus, we realize that Venus is actually a really hostile place for humans. And um, I would kind of go briefly over the main ways that we have studied the surface. Um, so we had a lot of orbital, uh, orbiting uh, satellites. Um, one of them was... Um, well, Messenger was going to Mercury. That was his actual goal. But on the way to uh, Mercury, they equipped it with certain um, equipment to do radar of uh, Venus. So it did a radar sur uh, survey of Venus on its way there. Now, the people who really took over the Venus exploration was the Soviet Union. And the Soviet Union had the Venera, uh, the Venera missions. There was a lot of Venera missions. Uh, there was a lot of failures in the Venera missions, um, but a few made it to the planet. The, most, um, the only color images that we have of the surface of Venus are uh, from Venera 13. So Venera 13 had a probe that actually uh, landed on Venus, but because of the surface temperature of Venus, which can be up to 426 degrees Celsius, it melted, um, it melted the probe immediately. I mean, within two hours, there was no longer any data being received. But during just two hours, we were able to gather color images of Venus for the first time. So this is generally what you see when you Google the image of the Venus surface. Um, now, what does this reveal about the surface of Venus? Uh, the surface of Venus is actually very smooth. The terrain is very, very smooth. It does have volcanoes, and it has lava flows. But overall, there is no very large landforms. It is very smooth with a really thick, thick cloud. The atmosphere is completely opaque and the, the temperatures are very hostile. My name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and these are some of the missions that were able to look at Venus. Mm -hmm.